Hey everyone, welcome to WOW Tips by Ice Lighting. In this video, I'm going to show you me doing the March trading post in less than one hour. So of course I've logged in this morning and I have had a quick check at my adventure log to see what's already ticked off and bizarrely as per usual it's now not showing anything ticked off but if you scroll down you can see I have done quests in Saramar and last time we did the um, trial of style I had also done that so you can see if I changed it by closing and opening it again it has actually reset it so you might want to do that if you want to see what you've already completed as well. So there's pretty standard stuff in there so first you thing I went to do was an easy one by doing the world PvP. This time of the morning there's nobody around so nobody bothered me, it's an easy 100 points. Next I chose to do the Blightstone upgrade, so upgrade something with 5 Blightstone. So if you've got something in your bag that can be upgraded, do that. If not, the world quests will pick it up, no problem whatsoever. And that's an easy 100 as well. Mm. So the next big ticket item is the world boss, so everyone's doing that. 100 points, so dead easy to find a group and get that one finished for that easy 100. So you can see we're knocking them out quite quickly. Next then, five world quests. As I've been going around, I've been doing the world quests. So doing five world quests will reward you with 50 points. Um, it's only 50, but obviously it's adding up. Now, this world quest that I just finished here is the challenge um, of the racing. So um, I'll come back to that in a minute. So wandering around, I was making sure that I was fully upgrading these seeds because that's a quest as well. And that finished off my rep with the Dream Wardens, which again gave me 100 points. So that was nice and easy. I then went and handed in all the seeds and the worthy ally, and I actually got renowned as well. So when I opened up all my bags, that actually finished off my obtaining flight stones, which also then gives me 100 points. So next up then, I went over to the dig, because it was that time of day. So doing a dig will reward you with 50 points, which isn't massive, but it's still 50 points. So handing that in actually then got me the achievement of completing 10 quests, not world quests, but quests. And that is also 100 points. So again, more points coming in. So I thought I'd do something fun next. I went to the Missing Hinge Inn, which is at the Three Waterfalls at the Azura Span. You're looking for the board that's just called the Hearthstone Board, not the station. If you get this out, put it on the floor, you will have an um, ability to flip it. And that will give you, um, it's only a silly 25 points, sorry, it's 50 points, um, but it is still easy, nice fun to do. So as I've mentioned, the challenge races, if you do two of them, you don't have to get gold. You just have to make it through them Excellent and it will give work. you an easy 50 points. I say easy, I like them. Um, if there's no pressure, you can see I finished it with loads of vigor left because it, it wasn't really stressful to just glide along, um, but you might not want to do that one. So next up there is a selfie with taking um, taking a selfie while wearing a top hat or a tiara or a monocle. So since we did the Gilnea stuff, you have that hat, um, just whack it on, find your um, selfie cam, in your toy box and then just take that selfie. It's only 25 points, but it's nice to just um, add them up when you're doing something nice and easy. So there's the screenshot um, and there's the 25 points. So I only had um, 50 left to go, so I thought, well, I'd finish off the quests. So I then went wandering down the river on the Cartographer's Raft because those ones are really easy. You don't have to think too much about it. Just spam one and then you'll get that finished. So um, by doing that, that actually surprised me because it actually got my reputation one done too. So I, that was complete overkill on that. I got both and whacked it out of the park. So you can see that done in less than one hour. Um, so if you are struggling um, towards the end of the month, this will really help you. Um, if you just want to get this done and out of the way, also will really help you. So first thing you get them from opening the chest is the new pet, um, which is adorable. I do love his little ears. Here are the spells, actions, things, whatever you want to call them that he does. So I shall summon him and you can see his uh, squeakiness in all his glory. There he is. He is very cute and very blue. Loving him. So then let's have a look at the other rewards at the trading time. post. So um, first thing that comes up is the Sky Captain's formal attire, which I can't stand, so I'm never taking that. Um, obviously, this new mount is beautiful. 
blah. Uh, again, it's a mount I'm never ever going to use, but you know, we have to have these things. So I pretty much decided I'm definitely having that. Now I knew there was a toy in here somewhere, um, so I found the toy. It is the Delicate Jade Parasol. Um, weirdly, it doesn't give you an image, which I thought was strange. So I thought, well, okay, 200, let's grab that anyway, and we'll see what that does. Um, I looked through the rest and there's really nothing else exciting. Um, so I grabbed the peacock. Um, however, if you have not um, picked up one of the mounts from previous, there is a return of a couple of mounts. So um, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom um, and have a look at the returning items, you will see a couple of mounts there. So if you missed them before, um, it is worth double checking those. Now, of course, I still was freezing the Crimson Glimmer Fur because uh, at Christmas it wasn't there on the first day and therefore I missed it, which was really annoying. Um, so I had enough to buy it and it's probably going to bite me next month because I'm literally coming back with zero. Um, but hey ho. So let's have a look at our new stuff then. So they've appeared as presents. Obviously the Crimson and Glimmer Fur, um, you don't need to really know about because obviously you all got it in December. Uh, but the Majestic Azura Peafowl, this is the new mount. So I shall mount it so you can see it. It is very pretty. I do like the blue. Again, still not gonna use it. It flies, but it's not dragon flying, um, but it's still a flying mount, so that's quite nice too. Maybe if you're hanging around in Pandaria, you might wanna use this. Um, but. That's pretty much it. So I went up high because I figured Paracel is going to do something with full damage. So I opened up my collections um, and had a look at my pet, uh, not my pet, my toys. Uh, it didn't appear on the front page or go to it, which was annoying. So I had to start typing in Paracel. So it says uh, it lasts for 15 minutes and it will stop you from dying if, when you next fall. So I thought, okay, let's lob myself off this uh, ledge and uh, see what happens. So um, I walked to the edge. <laughs> And I jumped. And I took full damage. And I thought, well, this is a rubbish parasol. And I thought, well, maybe it needs to be much, much higher. So I decided to risk it and uh, mount up, get really high, and uh, then dismount myself and see what happened. And finally, it does actually work. So keep that in mind. It's not actually going to save you um, unless you're really high. Other than that, you're going to keep taking damage. So that's pretty much it for uh, the trading post. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thanks for watching and subscribe to see what else I'm up to.